Well, good morning. Outside, the, the sun is shining. We've had a couple of really cold days over the last couple of days. Um, but now the sun is shining. I'm told that there is snow on the mountains. I haven't seen it for myself yet. I know that I wanted to lie in in the mornings because of just it being so cold outside. Um, but yet, in our hearts, we, we long for the warmth of, of fellowship together. And I know that for many of you, uh, that is something that is deep in your hearts. You, you long to be back together with other believers, to be able to worship together. Um, in this building, we know that this building is not the church, but it represents the body of Christ coming together, the bride of Christ coming together in, in fellowship, in corporate worship, in listening to God's word together um, as believers. But for now, we can't do that. And, you know, we, we recognize that even if we were able to do it, there would be so many restrictions on us that we wouldn't be able to experience what we were used to so many months back or a couple of months back. But we long for it, just as the, the people of God headed for Jerusalem to worship God corporately together. And as they worshiped, as they went, we are doing the same even as we remember that through the Psalms of Ascent um, as we go through them through this time. But we are doing something a little different this coming Sunday. On Sunday morning at 9 a.m., uh, the music team will be here. If you were able to look onto the stage this morning, you'll be able to see chairs that are spread out two and a half meters apart so that we can do the proper social distancing that we need to do um, on Sunday morning. We are going to take good care of every person coming in. People are screened before they come in. And um, if people are ill, they're not allowed to participate in um, this time together. But we are going to take every precaution necessary for the team to be able to be together to live stream to your home. Now, that's a new thing for us completely. We have, up until now, been done, we've done pre-recorded services. Um, but to, on Sunday morning, we're going to do a live service. Now I want to encourage you, I want to ask you, uh, I want to plead with you to be patient with us through this process. It's a new experience for us as a team. We're not quite sure how it's all going to work out. We're trusting and hoping that it will be a fantastic experience for every single one of us as we worship our Lord. Not that our experience is important, but that God gets the glory and the adoration through all that we do and that you get to encounter God through it. So on Sunday morning, the team will be here, will be leading us in live worship. I will preach God's word from Psalm 128 um, on um, Sunday morning. And we really just look forward to seeing and hearing what God has to, to say to us through the service on Sunday. So things will be a little different. And so what I want to encourage you to do is to just recognize some of the little changes that um, will be taking place. First of all, if you go on early morning, on Sunday morning, you're not going to get the sermon and you're not going to get the worship. You need to log on at 8.30 on the DB Church online platform and uh, I will put all the necessary links for you to do that. And I would really encourage you to come on at 8.30 or between 8.30 and 9 to, to join in the conversation and to be welcomed by some, some hosts that will be on that site during that time. And then to engage in the service and to be part of the service. If for some or other reason you can't be there at 9 a.m. on Sunday morning, you can't watch the service on your TV or on your laptop or on your, your, um, your phone, and you can only get to it later, then on YouTube, on our YouTube channel, the, the service will be recorded, but only later. So it won't be available early in the morning this week. And so we encourage you just to, to make note of the changes and do your best to join with us on Sunday morning for the service. Or if you, if you can't do that, then to watch the service a little later on YouTube. The web page, um, the DBC uh, web page will still be available, but what we will have on that web page are all the next gen ministry, um, in the, uh, next gen ministry activities videos and songs and the, your children and your teens can go and watch the sml talk the kids talk they can fill in the worksheets that that will be there as well those will be available on our church website for
for, for you and for your children and teens. And so really, I do want to just encourage you and challenge you at this time. You know, the Bible reminds us, don't give up the habit of meeting together. As some are, don't give up the habit of meeting together as some are in the habit of doing. And what the writer of Hebrews was simply saying is that fellowship is important. And we know that fellowship right now is really, really difficult and, and really, really um, and we, almost impossible in some senses in the way that we understand it and know it. But I want to encourage you, don't give up through this time of getting the spiritual input that you need um, to be able to be lifted up and to be built up in your faith and to be in God's word and be reading devotions and to be spending time developing and growing your walk with Jesus Christ. And so I want to encourage you this morning to do that. I want to encourage you to join with us on Sunday morning. Uh, thank you for completing the survey. Many of you completed the little survey that we sent out. It's been very in insightful for us as a team to be able to see what you're thinking and what you're saying and what you're feeling at this time. I promise you, uh, we are working towards bringing every person back to, to, together. But we recognize that there are some massive hurdles that we have to overcome still before we can do that. So let's just spend a moment together in prayer as we just lift up the Sunday service to you, to the Lord, and as we bring that before you, and as I pray for you as well at this time. Father, thank you so much that you are a God who is in control, and you are the God who knows what is going on, not just in the country, not just in the world, but in our individual lives. And today, Lord, I want to thank you that that, that knowledge is, is just so assuring to me personally. But I also want to pray, Lord, that that knowledge will be assuring to every single person and that um, is, is going through something tough at this time, is not able to understand what is happening, or perhaps has gone through a transition in their lives that is difficult and hard to understand. So I pray, Lord, this, this Friday morning that you will bring encouragement, that you will bring strengthening, Lord, that you would lift up your people by your Spirit. We thank you, Lord, for your Holy Spirit. We thank you that you are the one who indwells us, that you are the one who leads us into truth, and you are the one who comforts us, and you are the one that guides us. And we pray that we would remain in step with your Spirit, Lord, as we live out our lives and as we live out our faith in these trying and difficult times. And so, Lord, we commit ourselves to you, and we commit Sunday service to you, Lord. We pray, Father, for your hand on that service. We pray that your spirit would work through the, the preaching of your word, Lord, through the singing of songs, and we lift it before you, Lord. We pray for every team member. We pray for every person who will be involved in that service. We pray these things now in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Enjoy the rest of today. Enjoy the rest of the weekend, and see you Sunday morning at 9 a.m. On, online. God bless, and bye-bye.